The HAL Tejas MK2, also known as the medium weight fighter, marks a major milestone in India's quest for indigenous aerospace excellence. Developed by the Aeronautical Development Agency and built by HAL, this 4.5-generation multi-role fighter bridges the operational gap between the lighter Tejas MK-1A and the upcoming 5th-generation AMCA. Approved under Phase 3 of the full-scale engineering development, in 2009, the Tejas MK-2 introduces a larger airframe with canards, enhanced avionics, and superior performance. As of October 2025, the program is progressing steadily. The first prototype is 55% complete, with the center fuselage finished, wings and forward fuselage nearly ready, and rear fuselage entering production. Rollout is targeted for late 2025, first flight by 2028, and serial production around 2029. The Indian Air Force plans to induct 120 to 210 units, possibly expanding to 300 aircraft, replacing its aging MiG-29, Mirage 2000, and Jaguar fleets. HAL aims for an annual output of 24 to 30 aircraft by 2028 to 2030, utilizing the existing MK-1A production lines for efficiency. The Tejas MK-2 is built for air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. It emphasizes agility, low observability, and network-centric warfare, integrating a wide range of indigenous systems and sensors. The aircraft features a canard delta wing configuration, is 13.2 meters long with an 8.5 meter wingspan, and is powered by the GF-414 INS-6 engine generating 98 kilonewton of thrust with afterburner. A future variant could be powered by India's indigenous Kaveri 2.0 engine. The Tejas MK-2 program received a 10,000 Indian rupees crore funding approval in 2022, with private sector companies such as Tata Advanced Systems and Larson and Two Bro contributing to scalable production. For prototypes are planned for flight testing to validate performance improvements and flight control systems. Despite its progress, the Tejas MK2 program faces key challenges. The primary concern is its reliance on the US-made GF414 engine which imposes IDR export restrictions, prompting calls to accelerate the indigenous 110 kN Kaveri 2.0 engine for strategic independence. Additionally, project delays and cost escalations due to supply chain disruptions have slowed progress, though recent government reviews. And Safran's offer to co-develop a future engine variant have revived momentum. HAL is also working to scale production by transitioning its Nashik and Bangalore facilities from MK-1A to MK-2 lines, targeting an initial rate of 24 aircraft per year. Nonetheless, with 70 to 80% indigenous content, the MK-2 promises lower life cycle costs and easier upgrades without foreign dependencies. The Tejas MK-2 has attracted interest across South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. Argentina is discussing over 15 MK-1A units, with potential MK-2 consideration, though British component restrictions pose challenges. Malaysia, after initially favoring the FA-50, has resumed talks emphasizing local industrial participation. Indonesia and the Philippines view the MK-2 with BrahMos integration as a strategic deterrent in the South China Sea. In Africa, Nigeria is evaluating co-production under India's defense credit, while Brazil may compare it with the Gripeni. Other countries, including the UAE, Bahrain, Australia, and Botswana, are conducting early assessments for combat or training roles.
The Tejas MK2 offers key advantages over rivals. It is more affordable than the Saab Gripen E. $50 million versus $85 million, and Dassault Rafale, better suited for hot climates, and allows independent integration of Indian weapons like Astra and Brahmos. Unlike the F-16V, its exports are free from U.S. restrictions, with 30 to 40% lower life cycle costs. Success in global markets could place India among the top 10 defense exporters by 2030, create over 10,000 skilled jobs, and enhance HAL international reputation. The Tejas MK2 is not just another aircraft. It symbolizes India's Atmanirbhar Bharat, self-reliant India, vision. It enhances the IAF combat readiness and supports the long-term goal of maintaining 42 operational fighter squadrons. Beyond strengthening India's defenses, the MK2 will serve as a tool for strategic diplomacy, offering affordable, high-quality aircraft to friendly nations. By 2035, with the Kaveri 2.0 engine integrated, the Tejas MK-2 could evolve into an advanced 4.9 generation fighter, bridging the gap between 4.5 and 5th generation technologies. Its design allows future upgrades to stealth features, sensor fusion, and advanced AI-assisted avionics, ensuring it remains operationally relevant for decades. Conclusion The HAL Tejas MK2 is a landmark achievement in India's defense aviation journey, an affordable, capable, and future-ready multi-role fighter. Its success depends on resolving engine dependency, maintaining development timelines, and securing export contracts. Once inducted and exported, the MK2 could redefine India's image, from a defense importer to a major aerospace exporter solidifying its position as a rising power in global aviation and technology. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Tejas MK2 fighter in the comments section.